So it's like uh, 7.48 at night. It's pretty late on, like a, well, it's not super late, but you know, you get the point. Um, had the day off, so I got some air canards in the mail for my Civic, and I decided to install them today. It's cold as heck out, and it was snowing, so I did it in my uh, parents' garage. So let's take a look at it. Um, I already installed it, but I'll just describe it and on how to install them. Um, it's a fairly Im simple install. Um, doesn't require too much knowledge as long as you know how to measure. <laughs> All right, so here's the Civic, and here is the canard. I put just one on each side, even though I got four. I only installed two. These are the larger ones, though. Um, so basically, what you're going to want to do is clean the surface area. I mean, you don't 100% have to, but if it's really dirty, then yeah, I'd definitely clean it. Uh, just use like an alcohol prep pad wipe or just some alcohol, or even just some water, depending on how dirty it is. But um, once you've got it uh, cleaned up, you are going to want to get your air canard like I had and depending on the fitment uh, cut it right there and then just left it there and then cut it there and it drills in by just two screws one there and one there um, it's just a Phillips head so you're just gonna want to mark it measure it from some port portion of the trim I just went from here did three inches down from here or three and a half inches down from here and four inches down from here with a little bit of slight variation but um, once I marked it, I just used like an expo marker, made a plus mark, and drilled right at those points with the bracket piece on it, which is just this little uh, right angle right here. Um, it's just got a hole on both sides of it. And you just drill that in with that piece attached, and then you drill or pop a uh, screw in through the canard and then through the little metal bracket and just rest it on it on both points and then you can pop it down. Uh, I used some uh, thread lock just so that it helps hold it. Um, so that's that and you just thread the lock nut into it which has a uh, washer attached to it. Um, and you do that for both sides. So once you've threaded that through, then it's pretty much installed, easy as that. Um, it's pretty strong for the most part, I mean for what it is. Um, it's also a pretty good idea to put it at an angle so that this portion's lower, this one is a little bit slightly higher, so that it actually has some sort of aerodynamics. Um, I did the install mainly just for uh, aesthetics. So these are the smaller ones. So these just look like that. They, um, I also, like I said, did some cutting on the larger ones just so they'd fit a little bit better. But it's pretty much like that. So as you can tell, yeah. It might require some alteration, it's up to you. Or how different you want it to look. If you wanted it flush, or if you wanted some of that gap, which it looks better being more flush. I mean, there's still a bit of a gap, but it's not bad. Yeah, looks pretty good. I can check that off the list for the Civic Mods, and um, yeah. That's another one. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, just place it down in the comment section below. And yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> this is how I survive with making car mods in the winter. It's so warm. Hey, them canards though. Oh my god, it's covered in snow. Looks good. Looks pretty sweet. I don't know if I should put a second one, but I kind of like just the one. I don't want to overdo it. <laughs>